Who said you need to go fast to have fun? And who said you need to have a turbo for a mod friendly block? Well, welcome to the Drivers Up. My name is Bhavneet Baswani and this right here is a Maruti Suzuki Swift. Naturally aspirated, no turbo and according to us Indian enthusiast standards is not really that fast either. But it is ounces and ounces of fun. You want a Maruti Suzuki Swift that puts a smile on your face, check this build out. It is pretty safe to say that the owner of this car has hit an absolute home run in terms of external mods. Let's start from the front. He's opted for a full body kit which is a Swift Sport body kit which includes the front bumper, side skirts and a rear bumper and he's also smoked his front headlights. Moving on to the side, you can see that he's opted for the 17 inch Lenzo Jaeger rims wrapped in uh, Michelin Primacy tyres and you can see that the stance is also slightly lower because of Cobra lowering springs. Let's check out the rear. Personally, I think that the rear of this car is my favourite part of all of the aesthetics of this car with these uh, Mini Cooper inspired tail lights with half a union jack on each side and these real dual tip exhausts in the back from Borla which sound fantastic. As you can see this matte carbon fibre finish goes along the entire car to make the car look super sporty and that is designing. So time to talk about power, speed and what is under the hood. Under the hood is a 1.2 litre naturally aspirated K-series engine which comes stock with most probably 88 bhp to the max and it is a very smooth and reliable block if you don't work on it. However, this has been worked on and it is still reliable but it's not that powerful. Now, in terms of mods, it has uh, custom headers from Venom Performance and a full custom exhaust uh, all the way till the end. Those dual tips are custom made which is very difficult and it has a uh, BMC air filter. Now, it also runs a stage 2 Venom Performance tune which is what, mo what brings most of the power. Most of the power could be 1000 bhp but it's really not. It's 100 bhp, maybe 95 to 100 bhp but again this car is not about speed, it is not about the power, it's all about having fun at the driver's seat. So let's just do that. We at the Drivers Hub love our value for our money and that's why we always promote you guys building your own car that you've got in your garage instead of going to a showroom and buying yourself a performance car that is so much more expensive. That's the same way we try to live our life with our wallets. This is a slim little astronaut wallet. It's much cheaper than a normal branded wallet. So you can get many more different colors in the same style. They're super slim and they're made out of really good leather. It's got a lot of slots and a favorite slot with a tab so that you can pull out your favorite card. Mine is my driver's license. You've also got quite a lot of space to keep quite a lot of moolah inside and a hidden coin pocket. So, I've been using this wallet for the past two months and it looks just as good as new. It fits super slim inside my butt and it is not a hindrance at all to use with gloves on bikes. I love my little astronaut wallet and that's why I am pushing you guys to go to littleastronaut.in and use the code LAUNCHCONTROL15 to get yourself a 15% discount on your next little astronaut wallet purchase. Check it out. don't understand how people think that speed is the only way to have fun in a car. Now riddle me this, don't you go to a go-kart track and drive a 4.5 bhp kart to its max and have an absolute blast doing that? Well, the same concept goes on for this Swift. You can have a Jetta that has 250 bhp but 
when are you really going to extract all of that power in the real scenario of life? Well, not very often and you're going to need a lot of space for that too. But if you want to have a hoon in traffic, this is an absolute spot on place to be in because it is not that powerful but it still is a ready little peppy car. So you're going to be able to extract all of the 195 bhp while sitting in traffic, while driving during rush hour and you only need that little bit of space to absolutely gun the entire red line and you're still not going to be breaking the speed limit. Listen to how it sounds, it sounds fantastic. The ride is also really nice. In fact, it's not that uh, aggressive just because it is on stock dampers and lowering springs. So now the stance is perfect. The, the wheels sit super nicely. Everybody looks at the car and is like, wow. So you do get the wow factor along with a cheap little car that is so much fun to drive. And it's not like you're going to be running through fuel either. It is a very economical car. I'm getting 16 kilometers per liter right now and I'm not being nice to the car if uh, you want me to say that. So yes, you can have a lot of fun, you can save money and you can enjoy the car as it is. And it's not a lot of money to spend on to make the car feel like this. Headers, an intake and the exhaust. Yes, they are not small jobs but they're not expensive jobs in cars like these so you can get yourself a car that is this generation maybe for five six lakhs and then just spend another lakh lakh and a half and you've got yourself a really nice car this is a really good option because you're going to be using all of this power you're going to have all of the fun all of the time Now let's say you have a Gen 3 Swift 1.2 and you want to build your car to these exact specifications. Well, let's get into the build breakdown for this car. Starting off with the headers and the exhaust which have been custom made by Czech Engines Hyderabad. Those will set you back around 40,000 rupees. Definitely something that we recommend because the throttle response and the noise of the engine improve by a big margin. Next up, we have the BMC air filter which costs 8,000 bucks and add the stage 2 Venom tune which is 28,000 rupees and your power mods are more or less done. Coming to the wheels and the tires, they will set you back 1.2 lakh rupees and of course you would want your car to have a flush fitment so the Cobra lowering springs will cost you around 25,000 rupees. Now come to the aesthetics which are purely subjective and not really necessary. The Swift Sport body kit costs 35,000 rupees which is actually quite reasonable. The tail lights cost 12,000 rupees, which again are not bad at all. The owner has also done an audio upgrade in the car, which costs a whopping 60,000 rupees. Add all of this together, and you have yourself a Swift that looks the bomb, sounds exciting, and handles like a go kart while retaining the drivability and fuel efficiency too. So, check out Venom Performance for more builds like these and do give us a like and a subscribe so that you never miss out on any of our content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to start having fun in traffic. Bye-bye.